guys welcome back to my craft room today i'm going to be making a card and i'm going to be using some of my purchases from china and um, aliexpress i'm going to be using these stamps here which are little floral stamps i'm going to be using this die that says hello and it's a really nice die and i'm also going to be using some of these flower dies um, you get six, six or eight in the set, and you get sort of a bottom and a top, if you understand what I mean, if that makes sense. Um, one cuts sort of um, the fancy flower out, and the bottom is just a, um, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, I'll show you when I put it, when I get to that part. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to be working on a piece of just white stamping card. And I'm going to be using one of the flower stamps. I'm going to be using um, my embossing buddy. So I'm just going to go over my stamping card with my embossing buddy. And then I'm going to be using my Versamark and I'm going to stamp this flower all over this piece of card. I've chosen to use the one that's in the bottom of the stamp set. They're all lovely images. I have tried them all and they all stamp nicely. So I'm just going to use my Versamark and I'm going to stamp all over like a, <coughs> excuse me, just to cover the page or to cover the piece rather. So I'm not stamping in any particular order, I'm just stamping to cover the card. Okay, <clears throat> so I've finished stamping that image using the Versamark and now I'm going to go over it with my white embossing powder. <laughs> Okay, so that's that piece of card embossed. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gelatos. Gelatos are like a crayon really um, and they react with water. Um, you can also use your fingers to blend with. Um, on this occasion I'm going to use a little piece of baby wipe that I've cut uh, prior to the video and just to dry it out a little bit. I didn't want it too wet. And I've gone for these yellow and orange, uh, orange and yellow colours. So I'm going to start off, I'm just going to scribble at the top of my card and my first colour is just mango. So I'm just going to scribble over the top of the piece of card. Then I'm going to use the lemon one. Again, I'm just going to scribble. And then I'm going to use the last one which is buttercream and I'm just going to scribble over the bottom there. I'll just show you how you can blend them with your fingers. Um, I'm just using the baby wipe for speed really on camera. So I'm just going to wipe my hand. And then I've got this piece of baby wipe that I've been drying out. I'm just going to cut a small piece off it. And as you can see now, when I start rubbing, it blends really nicely. Um, and I was going for the sort of ombre effect, which I think I've got. I'm not too sure whether the camera's picking it up. But in real life, it does look like it's the ombre effect. I've started with the darkest and gone down to the lightest. So I'm just blending it in quite easily. Not much effort with this baby wipe at all. I'm just going to go a little bit more of the lemon just to make it a little bit deeper in the middle. Just going to rub over again. And I'm happy with how that piece looks. It looks really nice in real life. 
I'm just going to put my heat gun on and I'm just going to dry over it just to hurry things up. I'm just going to now wipe over it with a piece of kitchen towel just to wipe any excess off. And that's how it looks. I'm hoping it can, the camera's picking it up. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my flowers together. And I'm just going to use some wet glue to do this with. As you can see, like I was trying to explain before, top and bottom to the flower. So I'm just going to stick all these five flowers together. Okay, so that's my flowers stuck together. Next, I'm going to use, uh, stick together my sentiment, which is the hello. Um, I've cut this three times. Just using some white card and I'm just going to layer them up one on top of each other and this will just give the sentiment a little bit of dimension to pop onto the card. Okay guys so as you can see I'm just stuck them one on top of each other to make that nice hello sentiment. I'm working on this six by six card um, and I'm just I've cut it and scored it down the middle prior to starting. I'm going to be putting this black mat on. I'm just going to use my wet glue just to stick this mat onto the card. That's when the glue decides it's going to come out. I'm just making sure that I stick it on nice and straight. I have cut it so that I've got a small border just around the outside of the card. Next I'm going to stick my embossed piece on. Again I'm just going to use some wet glue. I'm just going to round the corners first just using this X quick corner punch. Again, I'm just sticking it down making sure that I've got it straight onto the card before I press down firmly. I'm hoping that the camera has picked up here that uh, you can see the ombre effect that I've, that, um, from using those gelatos. Um, it looks really nice in real life. I'm just hoping that it's picked up for you to see. So that's where I'm up to at the moment. Next I'm going to stick on my flowers and I'm going to use some little um, 3D foam dots to do that with. Again, just to give a little bit of dimension to my card. I'm just going to stick them in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so there's my flowers stuck on. Next, I'm going to stick on the hello sentiment and I'm going to use my um, 
wet glue to do this with. I'm going to use the glue that's in the fine tip applicator again because it is a really um, sort of delicate die cut. So I'm going to just glue all over it and then I'm going to stick that onto my card. Okay guys, so that's my sentiment stuck down. Um, I'm just pressing down the edges of the card just to make sure it's stuck down firmly. Right at the corner there, I'm just pressing down nicely. Next I'm going to use my stittles and I'm just going to go in the middle of these flowers and then I'm going to go over the flowers on the embossed piece as well. Um, as I said earlier, I can leave links to all of these products that I've bought from AliExpress. Um, if anybody knows whether I'm allowed to do that, um, if you could let me know, I'd be more than grateful. Um, like I said, it's not a problem me leaving the links because um, I've got lots and lots of products to show, lots of cards to make with new stuff that I've bought. Um, and it's nice if you know where to get them from. So if anybody knows, if they could just leave, drop me a comment, I'd be really grateful. Um, I'm not too sure with what happened a few months ago, whether I'm allowed to leave links or whether I'm not allowed to leave links. So... Um, like I said, if anybody knows, then just drop me a little message. So to finish off the card now, I'm just going to go over it using this Crafter's Co Companion Sparkle Pen. That was a mouthful. Um, and I'm going to go over my flowers as well. I'm just going to touch up a little bit where I've knocked it there. I was using the sparkle pen. And that's it, guys. That's my little card done for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch. It really is appreciated. Any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I will always get back to you at some point. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon. Bye.